Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how we create the video of the playwright test script execution. Okay, so here I have created one test script, and this test script created by using the testng framework. Okay, this is a very very basic test script where I am just launching the browser, navigating this URL, and then clicking on the text get started, then verifying the get started is opened, URL is opened. Then next I am clicking on the right text link, okay? And then again, navigating the URL. Next we have a running test text, okay? Link on this link I am clicking and then verifying the link is open. In the teardown, I have like closing the browser as well as the page. So now, if you want to record the session, record the execution of this test script, then we need here browser context object. So let's create an instance variable of browser context first. This is browser context reference variable here created, and now I'm importing the class. So let's now create the context object. So this I can use browser dot new context method. Okay. And in this method, I need to set the video folder path. So we need to call the browser new browser dot context options new context options then set then set recorded video path so then here i can get the path this is paths dot get and then i'm giving here folder name video okay so this is the folder so it will if the folder is not exist at the root of the project then it will automatically create first and then save the execution record now page object new page where i need to create using the context object and then in the tear down i need to close the context object also So now let me run the test. Just right click, go to the run files, click on the test ng button. It started the execution. Okay. Navigate the URLs, click on the get started, then click on write test, then click on running test. After that, it closed the URL. Now, if I want to see the recording, just refresh here is a video folder is automatically created under the video folder one file is created okay if you want to open this file go to the folder video is available in this location videos okay click on this and we can see here the execution of the test script complete execution is recorded now here one challenge i can see so every time when we run the test it will create new video okay why this is creating new video because it will giving the dynamic name to the video okay so every time this video is created with the with new name next video is created and this is like give some issue when we have multiple test cases like suppose that we are running 50 test cases and we are recording the videos in that case all the test it will create a dynamic it all the videos test will create it by dynamic names so it is very hard to identify which video is related which test cases right so what we can do here we can rename so that when we run the test 
video name will be exactly same with the method name. And in this way, we, this way we can identify which video is related to which test script. Okay, so we can we need to change the video name at runtime. So how we know the create? So video is creating after we are closing the context dot close button. So we can get here the video name at runtime. Okay, so we can call here page dot video dot get name a video dot path then we have get file name so this will return the video file name This is the path object. Okay, then next, I have here the video path. Okay, and this will give us the file name. This is the file name. Okay, next we receive the file name. Now, if I want to rename this file, then we need to call the file object. So, file one file object we need to create for the existing file where we need to pass this file name. Okay, second object we need to create for rename, for new file name. Okay, so now here the main question is how we get the name of the test so that we can rename the test video name same with the test name. Okay, so how we do that? So there is a I test result. Okay. We can get the name, current test name by using this result option. Test name equal to test name dot get method and then here I can call get method name. So this will give us the current method, current method of the execution. Okay, now we need to pass here absolute file name so that we can rename. So if we want to get absolute file name, then we need pass up the project. Okay, this we can retrieve by using system dot get property okay here we need to pass user dot dr directory okay this system dot user directory this will give us the path of the project okay then here if i want to use the absolute path then i can call the path variable and then file dot separator okay plus folder videos folder then again file separator object okay 
ओके देन वीडियो फाइल नेम वीडियो नेम सो दिस इज द करेंट फाइल ऑब्जेक्ट एंड दिस इज द करेंट फाइल लोकेशन विच फाइल इज जनरेटेड वीडियो फाइल इज जनरेटेड दिस इज द लोकेशन ऑफ दैट फाइल नाउ हियर वी नीड टू क्रिएट न्यू फाइल पार्ट ओके सो विच वी वॉन्ट टू रीनेम सो जस्ट क्रिएटेड ए फाइल नेम एंड देन हियर आई नीड टू पास द टेस्ट नेम ओके देन प्लस फाइल एक्सटेंशन सो दिस इज द फाइल एक्सटेंशन वी कैन पास ओके देन आई वी कैन कॉल हियर फाइल वन डॉट रीनेम मेथड एंड पास द फाइल टू ऑब्जेक्ट this will give us the boolean value if this will give us the boolean value if the rename successfully then we will get true and if the rename is not done successfully we will get false okay now code is ready and i want now i can run the test here currently there are two videos three cuz we run three times now i am going to run fourth times and you will see new video will create with test example name here we are getting true it means successfully rename so now if i run refresh we will get test example dot web m video so this approach is very helpful when we are running multiple test cases okay so each test has its video with its own name and with the help of using naming convention we can check we can verify the corresponding videos okay if the test is getting fail or if we want to map then we easily we can map the video with the test name thanks for watching the video